So the 2016 ATA guidelines on treatment of hyperthyroidism and other causes of thyroid toxicosis included a number of changes from the 2011 guidelines. One is the dependence upon thyrotropin receptor antibody measurements. In the 2011 guidelines, we suggested measuring uptake scans to diagnose hyperthyroidism. Um, in the 2016 guidelines, we allow for using thyrotropin receptor antibodies, um, in fact, perhaps preferentially um, for diagnosing Graves' disease, which is the most common cause of thyrotoxicosis. And thyrotropin receptor antibodies are also suggested when following patients with hyperthyroidism who are being treated with antithyroid drugs. Um, the 2011 guidelines simply said to stop the antithyroid drugs after 12 to 18 weeks. The 2016 guidelines suggest stopping them only if the thyrotropin receptor antibodies fall to the normal range. We also emphasize the use of thyrotropin receptor antibodies in pregnancy to assess the extent of the disease and whether or not the fetus and the neonate may be at risk for hyperthyroidism. In the radioactive iodine section of the 2016 guidelines, we emphasize that two to three days is sufficient to stop methimazole prior to administering radioactive iodine, and we also suggest that in high-risk patients who may have adverse effects if the hyperthyroidism reoccurs, that methimazole be restarted five to seven days after the radioactive iodine is given. In the surgery section, we talk about the importance of measuring and repleting calcium and vitamin D before doing a thyroidectomy, which is new compared to the 2011 guidelines. And in the antithyroid drug section, the major thing that is new is giving people more permission to use long-term antithyroid drug therapy. I think the 2011 guidelines implied that after 12 to 18 months of treatment, it was important to stop antithyroid drugs and go on to definitive therapy, but data that suggests that most of the serious side effects occur within the first 180 days after starting antithyroid drugs, which suggests that it's perfectly safe to use these drugs long term.